Hello, and welcome to the Intercom Articles tutorial on Localize. In this video, we're going to discuss the following topics. How the Intercom Articles app works. How to import articles from Intercom to Localize. How to add more languages for Intercom articles. How to export articles from Localize to Intercom. How to enable scheduled import and export. Each article on Intercom contains the following parts. Title. Subtitle. A small article description. Body. The actual article text. Using the Intercom Articles app, you can select one or more articles to push to a localized project. The imported content will be automatically assigned to translation keys, and you can edit these translations using our graphical editor, add more translations, and so on. When you are done editing, just select the items to export back to Intercom and wait for a couple of seconds for the process to complete. Apart from the articles, Intercom enables you to create collections and sections, which can also be imported to localize. These items contain two parts, name and description. Collections and sections are used to logically group your articles. Now let's see how to work with the integration in practice. To get started, open your localized project and click Apps. Find Intercom articles in the list, click on it, and then press Install. You'll be asked to log into Intercom. Review the requested permissions and click Authorize Access. After setting up the app, wait for Localize to synchronize the content and then click Reload List. You'll see a list of all your articles and collections available on Intercom. To be able to translate these items, you will need to import them. Therefore, choose one or more items by ticking these checkboxes to the left. You can also filter the items using the filter dropdown. For example, it is possible to display only the items with a specific content type. When you are ready, click Import Selected. Now you'll need to decide which languages to import. All languages that are not present in your localized project but are available on Intercom will be created automatically. To view and manage languages on Intercom, proceed to Articles, Help Center, Settings, Localize Your Help Center. To add a new language, click the Add Language button and choose one of the values from the list. Please note that if you have added a new language to Intercom but have not created at least one article, collection, or section in this language, Localize will not be able to synchronize this language properly due to Intercom limitations. In other words, Localize will not be able to detect if you've added a new language to Intercom articles. To notify Localize about this new language, you have to add it to at least one item before performing the importing process. For example, I have just added Polish language, therefore I have to open one of the existing articles and then add Polish there. Now everything should be working fine. Okay, now let's return to Localize and continue the setup. If you take the Overwrite Updated Translations option, then all the items that were previously imported to Localize will be updated with the new values taken from Intercom. Skip Key Creation for Empty Translations means that Localize will ignore all empty translations. Finally, you can assign tags to the imported translation keys by adjusting the corresponding field. Click OK to start the import. This process will be run in the background, and you can check its status on the Activity page. To access this page, click More Activity. We can see that the import process is already finished. After the chosen items are imported, you can proceed to the Project Editor. Please note that Intercom has length limitations for certain items – article titles, collection names, etc. Therefore, when performing translations, you will see the maximum allowed length. After you have finished translating your content, it's time to export new strings back to Intercom. To achieve that, return to the App page and choose one or more items that you would like to export. After choosing the items, press Export Selected. In this dialog, you'll need to choose languages to export. If needed, you can convert the exported articles to drafts by enabling the corresponding option. If an item has the Draft status on Intercom, it will not be visible to the visitors. Once you are ready, press OK. The chosen items will be uploaded to Intercom in the background. Please note that empty translations will be ignored and won't be exported to Intercom. 
Now you can return to Intercom and make sure that all your texts were synchronized properly. Great job! Finally, let's discuss how to set up automated import and export. This feature allows you to set up an automatic content exchange process between your localized project and Intercom. This way, you don't need to manually trigger the import or export operation every time. It will be run automatically for you. To enable this feature, open the Intercom Articles app and click on this cog icon. To enable automated import, tick the Enable checkbox under the Import tab. You can adjust the following options. Import Languages Choose one or more languages you would like to include in the automated import process. Overwrite updated translations. Update already existing keys that were linked to items on the third service with new values. Skip key creation for empty translations. When checked, Localize will not create a new key for translation items that are empty on Intercom. Tags. Choose tags that you would like to assign to the imported items. Frequency. Choose how often the import process should be performed. Content type. Choose a saved filter with items that you would like to import. Adjust these options as needed and then proceed to the Export tab. Tick the Enable checkbox. You can also modify the following options. Export languages. Choose one or more of the languages you would like to include in the automated export process. Convert exported articles to drafts. Mark all exported articles as drafts on Intercom. Frequency. Choose how often the export process should be performed. Content type. Choose a saved filter with items that you would like to export. Translation filter. Choose which translation keys should be exported from Localize. You can choose to export only reviewed and or only verified keys. Once you are ready, click Save. Note that two new badges were added to the page saying that you have automated import and export enabled. Nice! And this concludes our tutorial. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions. And stay with Localize.